our workshop. Uh, we'll present you two activities about communication. We hope you will enjoy it. We will be today again uh, on purpose. Uh, first, let me introduce my, the team. We have Alberto. We have Darius. We have myself. Um, we will um, do two activities with one break in the middle um, of, for an evaluation of some sort. So, without further ado, we'll uh, move to our first activity. Uh, I will require you to stand up. Leave your stuff around. And every time I talk, you move just a bit fast. Start noticing the people around you. His eyes, but take away your, your, your sight. Don't stop moving. Keep moving. Just keep glimpses at each other's eyes. If you see someone you don't really want to see. <laughs> and don't just go in a circle. <laughs> you're in a very busy, imagine you're in London, and there are like so many people passing. <laughs> <laughs> but keep a few seconds of eye contact with you. <laughs> You're already smiling, I would say you can start smiling now at them. Maybe nod your head as well. No talking. Brief stops now, say good morning, how are Mind 
what is written on the note, will touch the back of the next person, the next person will turn, will see what's mine, and the person of mine will take a seat in the left place, or the right place when it's your turn. So are you ready? Yeah. Have you understand? you have questions? No. They, they will just stay and observe for, for this part. Okay. Do you have any questions? No. 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 Okay, please face this way. Make your make of the room. You have a chance to choose. Don't spy, don't spy. <laughs> please don't uh, look back. <laughs> don't talk. <laughs> don't look. Please don't go back. Don't have a chance. <laughs> please, please, let's keep the silence. <laughs> Please take a seat. When you're ready. I have to do the same yeah. thing. Yes. <laughs> what it was, what you thought it was, you try to translate that. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. 
Yeah, it's the same. I think it's stealing. I think I should improve my English. No, let's please read the message. Uh, you are a firefighter in New York and you're trying to stop a fire. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, please. Okay. 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 Okay.
Yeah, pretty well. Pretty cool. Pretty well. Easy. So it's my message, I think. <laughs> Sophia, what about your message? How was to send the message? I'm not sure that I want to talk about this, but it, it was kind of hard to represent a firefighter or whatever. Okay. For the yeah, other participants, yeah. how was to receive the message from the other? Was hard? Was it easy? Well, you can't tell now that the message has been changed on all its way, so you just accept it and, like, as you said, like, use your imagination. That's it, then you just also transform it in your own way. What, what was the most challenging part and why? Sending the message, because if we were in the middle, uh, it was hard to receive the message and then transmit it to the others. It's also hard when you just have the message and you read when you try to recreate what you read there. But receiving the message and you don't, you have no idea what the person wanted to to transmit. It it was really hard to okay. transmit to the others. Thank you. Yes. So for for you it was easy. Probably. Okay. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, it was easier to uh, present in the first place. Sure. And then in the same is more common. In the real life, uh, I, I said I say you something and you say something else maybe only one one sentence or one word can change <coughs> the the meaning of the, the sentence and process and you in the social media maybe you can just share or repost something. Okay, thank you. Maybe I would like to say that uh, I think that uh, people naturally somehow filter information. <coughs> So you may have a conversation with someone, but you like naturally remember only some parts, and that maybe can cause the thing that you transform it and you don't want it, like on purpose. But you just remember some things more than others, and like the message is being smaller and smaller, and that's what maybe happening. Maybe just maybe smaller and not so big deal. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, everyone. You are amazing. Now, open your eyes, create an eye contact with, with the person in front of you and maintain it. Experience, upon the experience, how was their feeling, your feeling? And how did you get it? Uh, I paid attention to myself and to the other person because uh, this is like a feedback. You take something from uh, the other person and then this generates some thoughts and feelings and then maybe you 
start to change and this thing goes to the other person as well and this is like um, continuous feedback I think and the perception was different with every person and I think it, it was also different during the whole process with the same person like in the beginning maybe you feel uncomfortable but then you start to change and in one word I would define it as a reminder it is a reminder that we shouldn't uh, take things for granted sometimes you see things that you didn't know you can never assume that you know something or someone really well and sometimes you see that you can have another way of communication through the heart it changed for the person, the perception through yeah. the process or for It was different your... for every person and it was different even for the same person <coughs> In the beginning it was something else, in mm -hmm. the end of the process it was something else. Thank you. Yes, I also agree. Um, for me at the beginning when we were starting it was a minute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or a little bit more. Oh. So at the beginning I was just um, checking the color of the eye, the shape of the eye the face, maybe around the eye, uh, and then as the time was passing, I was starting to notice that um, not, I was not seeing the way that someone looks, I kind of was something more for me. And for me, the one word that defines the experience is a window, because I think that our eyes is like windows. And they, you can see through them. You can see something more. <coughs> uh, something that people, they might not want to show. Uh, but if you notice well, if you spend the time, uh, I can even see many things. Uh, I felt uncomfortable because oh, some people, um, I think they were feeling uncomfortable doing this exercise. And they, some people they were laughing, some people they were looking away. And I've tried to keep my eyes all the time. Um, I was feeling uncomfortable when the other person was feeling uncomfortable as well. So, did you per perceive the feeling of the person uh, yeah, in front of you? Exactly, yeah, exactly. He, he, he transfers the, the feelings actually uh, towards me. And I was feeling the same. And on the contrary, when the person was comfortable, um, actually, that happens with someone that I know before. Uh, that was very nice. It was from this, uh, this deep connection. Um, I thought more about what that person could transmit um, to me through their eyes. Uh, I feel intimidation. <coughs> yeah. oh. And I have a feel calmer with someone. Mm -hmm. Even the person. Uh, yeah, I, I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> it's my experience. <laughs> because you were nervous? Yeah. Uh, I, I feel nervous is for um, mantel, mantening uh, the, the contact with eyes. It's difficult for me, <laughs> for my... Did it change from the first time that you did that to the last one? Sorry? Change the, from the first time that you did that to the eye contact to the last time or it was the same? You were nervous as, as equal no. the first one and the last one? Different, uh, depend on the, the person. I feel uh, different. Um, but find your experience in one board, I think uh, this thing to me. <laughs> because our eyes are like a camera, and as soon as you start thinking, sometimes you unfocus and you see dart sometimes. <laughs> so I had to focus again on the face. Uh, with some people, actually, I could see the face changing when they were thinking something specific. Uh, like, 
I could see if someone was getting uncomfortable or if they were just calm. And I could see it like from the muscles of the face. Were you uncomfortable close to the person in front of or because you felt uncomfortable? I felt that mm, most of the people uh, I was looking in the eyes uh, was, uh, were as uncomfortable as me. <laughs> was um, embarrassed and not uncomfortable. Embarrassed. Thank you. Thanks. I think what this uh, exercise uh, was uh, also interesting because uh, for the self control, our self control. Someone was uh, very, I mean, excited, or was laughing, or was talking, or was moving, and maybe it was an exercise for our self-control, you know, you are looking someone, you have to stay calm or contain your, your emotions, instead of not disturbing the others because we are a lot of people in the same room and everyone can help the other with our self-control. Then yeah, I was uh, trying to uh, stay calm or looking the attention to the other person and not to the environment surrounding me. But yeah, maybe someone was too much, <laughs> I don't know. Out of control, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you, but you you felt a connection with the person in front of just with uh, eye contact, or it was in your opinion just for <coughs> your yes, self? I felt, but for this disturbing uh, environment, okay. maybe it would be more too difficult. So it could be better. Yeah, sure. Okay. If everyone yeah. could think uh, that was also for self-control. Thank you. Maybe if we knew each other better, it would be better because we were standing like close to each other with people you don't really know, so it's obvious it will get uncomfortable and you don't really get the connection I think you were supposed to get because it was just too much and with the previous activity it was oh, kind of too much for I think me. It's, uh, I think it's kind of good that it was with a person that we don't know because usually you don't do that, so it was like a quite a good change because usually you don't look so intensively into someone's eyes when you don't know them. Not even with people you know, at least I don't. So basically I think that it was quite a good change and quite a good workshop. Now we move on to a bit of quick evaluation about both activities, about pretty much everything. Um, you will get these papers, you know the traffic light? Red? You know what it means? Mm -hmm. Yellow <laughs> and green. It's about if you like the TVs or what you want to do.